Communicating large-scale geodatabase models usually involves drawing some fairly big diagrams or posters. But as you may have experienced, these can become difficult to maintain and don't really facilitate reuse. Enterprise Architect, however, provides a valuable way to compose large diagrams out of several smaller ones, using the diagram frame capability. So how do diagram frames work? Basically, you draw diagrams in whatever manageable chunks make sense conceptually. Then when you want to compose the big picture, you simply drag and drop relevant diagrams from the project browser onto your poster as diagram frames. Let's consider an example. Say I want a poster that shows the entire contents of my workspace without having to redraw every element again. Notice I already have several smaller diagrams to represent my domains, feature classes, tables, and relationship classes. Now composing the poster is easy. First, just create a new diagram. Then drag and drop the diagrams of interest. And choose the diagram frame option, which causes the diagram's content to display. And I have some options as to how this uh, frame boundary or border is displayed. I can render the type and name of the diagram, or just a border of the diagram, only the diagram name, or no frame at all. So how would you like to label the various boxes in your poster? This is what it looks like using the standard UML notation. The diagram type is shown, followed by the name. What does the border only option look like? Okay, that might be better, because I want to add some fancy text labels to each region of the poster. To add the label, drag a text element from the toolbox. Then type your text label. and format the font however you like. Then rinse and repeat. A little formatting tip. You can repeat the text format for other labels by getting the style then reapplying it elsewhere in place. So here it is, a pretty rough draft of the poster, but enough to give you the idea. Now to navigate around these larger diagrams, you'll find the pan and zoom window useful. Now, notice what happens when I update one of the original diagrams. Say I add a new coded value domain. When I save the change, the frame is automatically updated for me. Now that's helpful. And notice I can use diagram frames to render the same element multiple times, but in different contexts. For example, my abstract class appears in the relationships frame and in this feature hierarchy as well. Normally, EA doesn't permit you to add the same element to a diagram multiple times, so diagram frames provide a useful exception to that rule. Finally, when your poster is finished, You'll find it to be a really handy navigation aid for anyone reviewing your model. Just double-click a frame to drill down. So with that in mind, you might even make a diagram like this the first page that displays when your model is opened. Set it as the default diagram for the model.